Hi guys, this is Gian of Gadget Pilipinas. Today we're going to talk about the Huawei P60 Pro. In case you missed my previous video, I mentioned how this phone managed to amaze me, especially when it comes to mobile photography. Well, Huawei has always done so in the past with their previous iterations of the P and Mate series, but the Huawei P60 Pro is built differently. While it shares almost the same chipset with the Huawei Mate 50 Pro, don't make the mistake of dismissing it to perform similarly like I thought it would. Like I said, it's different with how its camera behaves and performs, which is currently one of the best I've seen in the market. I love its design, which I'll briefly talk in a little bit, and I can still download the apps I want through App Gallery, which some of you have been asking how in the recent video. So, Regarding the Huawei P60 Pro, this phone has some impressive camera features. The main camera has a massive f1.4 aperture and RYYB sensor that greatly boosts light intake, resulting in images that are incredibly sharp, rich, and high contrast. I believe some of you in my previous video pointed about this and this is one of the reasons why they're getting this one. Meanwhile, the ultra lighting telephoto camera is perfect for capturing distant, uh, dimly lit scenes thanks to its multiple lens groups and f2.1 large aperture that takes in about 178% more light. With just one tap, you can zoom in and take stunning sharp and clear photos, as you may have seen in my previous videos. Now, I'm just impressed with the Huawei P60 Pro and its incredible camera features. It is clear that a lot of thought and innovation has gone into this device. I was able to take some sample photos using the phone in various instances. I was able to take some night cityscape shots so you'll see how it manages to perform in low light landscapes scenes at night. I actually suggest that you pay attention to details on certain points in the photos and see if they can be used when cropped. You may also want to check the level of contrast and saturation as these things usually lose quality when subjects are taken in dark environments. I also took portrait photos in 1x and 3.5x in day and night so you know how the foreground and background subjects are presented. I also played around using the large apertures, the f1.4 and f2.1 and see how it will affect the background in terms of depth of field or bokeh for some of you who are into that uh, term and foreground subject in terms of focus, texture and also sharpness. Now just a bit of information tidbit. Just like the Huawei Mate 50 Pro, the new Huawei P60 Pro has an improved adjustable aperture from f1.4 to f4.0. This means that you can manually adjust the aperture at will. I also snapped some photos of my cats to showcase how the phone effortlessly captured and displayed textures, colors, and contrast. Now, I'm no expert uh, photographer, especially when it comes to taking photos of pets, and framing my shots can be quite challenging. However, with the help of the telephoto lens, I was able to effortlessly frame my furry friends without causing any distractions. In fact, for most of the shots, I was about one to three feet away from my cats. Also, uh, taking photos of flowers and food with the Huawei P60 Pro is such a breeze, no? But it's not just about how easy it is to take the shot, it's also about the quality of the pictures produced by the ultra lighting telephoto camera. Now remember in my previous video where I mentioned that you don't have to put the camera too close to the subject to take macro shots. Unlike other phones such as the Galaxy S23 Ultra or the iPhone 14 Pro Max, you can just take a macro shot of a plant or a food and still get the quality you expect from a macro lens. Okay, maybe it's not exactly the same as this one, but it's definitely better than the phones I've used in the past. Better in terms of quality and ease of use. I had opportunity to take some amazing photos of sunrise and sunset using the Huawei P60 Pro and let me tell you, I was blown away by the dynamic range of this device. The photos I took were absolutely stunning and they really showcased the depth of the dynamic range that this phone has to offer. As someone who loves landscape photography, I can say that having a camera with excellent dynamic range is an absolute must and the P60 Pro or Huawei P60 Pro definitely delivers on that front. In the past, I've struggled with other phones when trying to capture sunrise and sunset shots as the lighting can be quite tricky to get right. However, with the Huawei P60 Pro's impressive dynamic range capabilities, I found that I was able to get shots that looked just as good as if I had been using a professional camera. 
The colors were rich and vibrant, and the detail in both the highlights and shadows was just incredible. Now, part of the improvement that Huawei made are the changes on the camera UI. You can easily change the camera settings and modes with just one hand, which is a huge upgrade from the previous generation. This means that you can quickly switch from one mode to another, giving you more flexibility in capturing the perfect shot. Now, one of the most impressive features of this camera is its Pro Mode. This mode lets you manually control the camera's aperture from f1.4 to f4.0, as mentioned earlier, allowing for more or greater flexibility in composing your shots and playing with light. Now, with this level of control, you can capture stunning photos with a shallow depth of field or those with greater depth, depending on your preference. But that's not all. The new zoom ring on the Huawei P60 Pro is another feature that makes it easy to change the zoom range with just one finger. Uh, this feature is especially helpful when you're on the go and you only have one hand free to take photos. With this new design, using the phone for mobile photography has become even more convenient and user-friendly. All right. Let's move on to its design and other features. Now what I got here is the Huawei P60 Pro in black. One of the things that makes this phone stand out from the rest is its anti-fingerprint feather sand glass. Unfortunately, I don't have the Huawei P60 Pro in Rococo Pearl colorway, the white one that I've shown you in the past, but let me tell you some interesting things about it. The Huawei P60 Pro in Rococo Pearl colorway features a unique a pearl texture design, incorporating natural mineral pearl powder on the back of the smartphone to create a one-of-a-kind natural mother of pearl texture. Kapag ginawa ko mo talaga siya, it would feel like as if you're touching pearls, no? but uh, in a slab form. No? Uh, we were also told that it's, uh, each piece is uniquely different, making every phone a unique piece with a remarkable texture. The beauty of the design comes from a natural texture changes of the mother of pearl, which I mentioned earlier, and its unique artistic presentation. In addition to its display, the Huawei P60 Pro features a new generation Kunlun glass that provides excellent durability. The 6.67-inch quad-curve LTPO display with 1 to 120Hz adaptive refresh rate offers an immersive viewing experience. You can control it. It will automatically switch to 1 to 120Hz depending on the need, while the Huawei X2 display delivers accurate colors and details. The glass has also received a 5-star drop resistance certification from SGS in Switzerland, making it uh, 10 times more resistant to drops, which I just did earlier. The phone is also IP68 uh, rated for splash, water, and dust resistance, ensuring extra protection against daily mishaps. Now, you're getting this feature regardless of the colorway you're picking, so it doesn't matter whether you're going to get the black version or the Rococo Pearl version. Now, before I wrap up, I'd like to mention a couple of more exciting features about the Huawei P60 Pro that caught my attention. Number one, the phone's performance and user experience have been significantly improved. The corners of the icons, which I mentioned last time, are now more rounded and the always-on display feature has been enhanced with more 3D features. The camera UI has also been revamped, as mentioned also earlier, making it easier to control with just one hand. Another notable feature is Huawei App Gallery, which allowed me to download and use popular apps like Maya, CapCut, Lazada, and Microsoft Office. This means that you won't have to worry about uh, missing out on your favorite applications. Lastly, the Huawei P60 Pro is equipped with a 4815 mAh battery and an 88W special charger with Type-A and Type-C ports. I can vouch for the fact that using the charger and capable included in the box can let you charge the phone from 0 to 50% in 10 minutes. The Huawei P60 Pro is both an engineering marvel and a gift for mobile photographers. It performed exceedingly well in terms of camera performance compared to the Galaxy S23 Ultra and iPhone 14 Pro Max, which I both own. I have explained why and how in this video and also my previous videos, but just in case you missed it, I put the links in the description and comment sections below. Now, this is not obviously my full review, and that's why you won't be seeing numerical score in this video. However, I will be making an exemption on the camera department. I'm giving the Huawei P60 Pro a 9 out of 10. However, if you want to know the rest of the scores in other categories, I highly encourage you to check out my full review written on our website at Gadget Pilipinas. Link is also in the description. 
The Huawei P60 Pro is now available for pre-order from May 12 to May 25. Those who will pre-order will receive a Huawei Watch GT3 which usually costs 12999 This 8 plus 256 gig variant Huawei P60 Pro costs 58999 while the 12 plus 512 gig storage is priced at 69999 Very nice. And if you buy one, you'll get a one-year extended warranty. So if you buy one on May 25, 2023, uh, you've got an extended warranty until May 24, 2025. This, however, is only applicable to those who will pre-order until May 25, 2023. Now, those who will be missing out on the pre-order are not left out with a benefit because they will be receiving a 3 months free 200 gig Huawei benefit, Huawei Cloud benefit rather, valued for 447. That's it for my video today. This has been GN of Gadget Pilipinas. I hope you learned a lot in this video. Please shout out in the comment section if you're getting this device or not. I'm very interested to know. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, this is the best time to do so. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.